Greetings. Today I'm coming to you from the Bunting Library. The mission of the, this particular library is to help resource the church community as it seeks to grow in its faith and to consider life situations in light of that faith. The topic I'm going to talk about today is the Trinity. As a part of our summer symbol series that I've been doing on my Friday messages, the Trinity gets its turn today. We have three cushions, kneeler cushions, that are dedicated to the persons of the Trinity. One for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Spirit. I'll cover the symbols on each of those cushions a little bit in my video so that the next time you have an opportunity to see them, you'll be able to a little bit better understand what they're pointing to, what they're trying to say to us, how they're trying to help us understand something that's not understandable, how we're trying to get at mystery through the limitations of human language and human symbology. So, let's begin. The first cushion is dedicated to God the Father. You'll notice... In the center of the cushion, a hand that is raised in blessing with three fingers pointing up and two fingers folded within. The three fingers make reference to the Blessed Trinity. The two fingers that are folded down represent the dual nature of Jesus. That dual nature being fully God and fully human. Surrounding this hand, this hand of blessing, is a wreath. Now it is green in color. It represents life eternal with the idea that the wreath itself being green, evergreen, connecting to that. The central symbol is surrounded by two others. They are a rhododendron another evergreen plant. This particular evergreen plant, it said, was referred to as the rose tree in medieval times and is associated with the idea of love. The next cushion we're going to consider is dedicated to God the Son, to Jesus. Now, this particular cushion has at its center a cross and an image of a unicorn. We're going to discuss the image of the unicorn a little later in the summer, so I'm not going to talk about that now. Instead, I want to point us to the two side images. On one of those is a picture of a bee. The bee is buzzing around a set of carnations. The carnation is said to symbolize pure love. And the bee reminds us of the cooperation necessary in community, in a beehive, for the community to thrive. Now, on the other side, there are also carnations, but on these carnations we see a butterfly. The butterfly is a long, familiar symbol for the resurrection. Last but not least, we're going to consider the cushion dedicated to God, the Holy Spirit. Now, a traditional symbol for the Holy Spirit is that of a dove descending from on high. We hear reference to this particular dove in the baptism of Jesus. We also understand it as the Spirit of God, which was present around the waters of creation. On either side of the descending dove on this cushion, we see Columbine, which is said to resemble a dove, and thereby symbolizes the Holy Spirit as well. Particularly the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the gifts of wisdom, teaching, faith, healing, the empowerment for miracles, prophesying, speaking in tongues, as well as interpretation of tongues. Also present on this particular cushion is something called a three-rayed nimbus. It denotes divinity and is only used with the three persons of the Trinity. The Trinity. 
a mystery how God works within God's self and how God reaches out to us humankind in love. I hope you've enjoyed our time learning some of the symbols associated with it. There are so many others. I'll talk a little bit about those in a future sermon. Take care and God bless.